up guys thanks for coming back to the channel as you can see by the description we're gonna be hanging up our bow ties and going with the Ram boys today today we've got ourselves a brand new 2018 Ram 2500 Cummins four-wheel drive quad cab this thing's a big boy truck and the owner wanted to spice it up a little bit so what are we gonna do lift it up add some awesome wheels and tires Today we're going to be putting on this leveling kit from Croker Off-Road Engineering. They've got a really cool kit to be able to level everything out on this truck so we can fit a little bit bigger wheels and tires there on the front end. As anybody knows Dodges, they can fit anything on the rear, so we just want to make it a little bit bigger in the front end, even it all out so we don't lose that rake. It comes with Fox 2.0 Performance Series, so these are the built aluminum shocks. It's got the high steel uh, coil springs lifted up about two and a half inches to be level with the rear centering uh, billet nozzles there. We've got our brackets to lift up our sway bar kit. Instructions, stickers, hardware, everything else you need in the regular kit. As for anybody who's wondering what is a leveling kit, these trucks from the factory come with a rake to them. They're meant for towing, hauling, big things. So the back end of the truck is going to be raised up about an inch and a half, two and a half inches, right around there in the rear end. So when you do tow, it levels everything out and you don't have your headlights pointed at the sky and you can't see anything. So what this kit's going to do, it's going to raise up the front end and it's going to level everything out. So we're going to have the exact same measurements for the right height in the front and the rear. The front's going to allow us to fit a little bit bigger rims and tires. Let's go check out see what we've got for those. Our customer decided to go with a fuel FC45 stroke style wheel. They are 20 by nines. They only have an offset of a positive one millimeter. We didn't want to go with too much of a negative offset because he is going to be using this thing as a truck. He didn't want this thing to rub and we're still going to be looking good with them. We got them mounted up to our Nitto Ridge Grappler 35, 12, 50, 20 tires. These things look sick. And then to top everything off, we're going to be taking off those one-size-fits-all factory boards and we're going to be putting on a set of Amp Research Power Side Steps. Here's our Amp Research Power Side Step Kit. They come with heavy-duty brackets. The steps are in the box, wiring kit for everything you need, LED lights, modules, instructions, all your brackets and hardware, everything that you're going to need to put this thing together and make it looking awesome. Let's stop squabbling about the numbers. Let's get this thing started. Here we are, boys and girls. We got the wheel and tire off. We're in here looking at our suspension. <clears throat> We're going to be removing our shock absorber. We are going to be removing our spring. And then the brackets that we have in the Croker off-road kit is for the sway bar bushings here. It's going to be a bracket that's going to drop this down so it allows the traveling and the geometry of the front suspension still to function as normal and not bottom out at certain areas. So taking off our shock absorber here, this bolt's going to be a 21 millimeter. Also, always make sure you have your front axle supported by a jack because this thing will want to drop down. This is holding it up. Get that out of the way. So we're going to be able to get our shock up out of the way. Next thing I'm going to want to do is the bracket for our brake line and for our speed sensor line. I'm going to want to take this off so when we lower this uh, whole axle down, it's not going to stretch this line and everything too much. That one is going to be a 13 millimeter. And we will be reinstalling this one later. There we go. So now we've got some more play in everything. Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take off our um, brackets for our sway bar. 
Both of these are going to be 15 millimeter. And then the other side is the same. There we are. Now that's able to drop down. So we've got both of our sides supported now. The brackets on both sides are loose. I took the shock off the other side as well, so now your front axle is able to move independently and everything's supported underneath, so we're gonna raise the truck up a little to be able to get these factory springs right on out of here. Gone. Plenty more room for new stuff. So the next thing that we need to do is we're gonna have to be installing these billet aluminum spring stabilizers here and to hold these in place we're going to have to drill a quarter inch hole right about here so we can put some hardware that'll hold it into place we got a punch spot that we've already marked ahead of time So we've got our hole drilled here. So now the kit comes with black quarter inch hardware with washer and nut. Get that all installed there. Tighten that up, looks pretty good. All right, so we've got our shock, new one, our Fox 2.0 put back up into place. The top nut for this one's gonna be a 19 millimeter. So we'll go on another fast forward marathon and go. We got the shocks all torqued down. We jacked up our front end. We put it up a little bit at a time, all the way up. We got our 21 millimeter bolts. We're using the same hardware back end to hold our shocks in place. So now our front end is back down where it needs to go. We we'll need to put our 13 millimeter back in for our bracket. That in right here. <laughs> All right, we got our bracket in there. I already got the one in on the other side. So everything is pretty much supported. Next thing we're gonna wanna do is put our spacer plates for our sway bar that we dropped down. These plates right here, they're marked each side. This one is marked passenger with the nice finished side facing out. And these are gonna mount right up here like this. And our sway bar is gonna mount up there. So afterwards, it's gonna look right like that. I'll zip that up real quick. We used our factory hardware to mount the brackets up into the frame and then supplied is the 17 millimeter hardware to mount our factory sway bar to the bracket. There we go. How's that look? Yeah, it looks pretty sexy myself. Mm -hmm. So the next thing we're going to do guys is we're going to get these one size fits all factory boards off. You got 10s here for the pinch weld, 13s going into the frame. We'll get those out real quick so we can get these awesome power boards up. We're working right along here guys. We've got the power steps at least mounted up then there. We don't have the wiring yet, but I just wanted to give you guys show you what the hardware and stuff was like for these boards the hardware when mounted up in here mounts up there to a couple of bolts a couple of heavier duty bolts in here and also inside the frame there and then also around front of the bracket 
there's a couple of bolts that mount through there so they mount six bolts into these each of these brackets so they're really heavy duty and they're mounting all into the factory bolt holes as well so there's not really a whole lot of modification that you need to do they give you rivets to rivet in these top bolts to rivet in these top holes up here but I went ahead and put screws there. They're a little bit more heavy duty and you really can't get a rivet uh, gun into there to be able to rivet those in, nor a drill bit. So this is the way we end up going on this one. So more heavy duty. And then the motor is all mounted in here. So looks pretty good. And then we're gonna get some wiring going on this. It runs to power, ground, OBD2 is where our plug-in is for the doors. And then we're also gonna be running a couple of LED lights out here to light up the boards when they open as well. The LED lights that came in the kit are stuck on with two-sided adhesive. Drill a hole through the pinch weld, 930 seconds I believe was the size for it. Make sure you touch up the inside of the hole, put some thing that's going to make it not rust there. We just ended up touching up the hole in there and put a little bit of um, grease so that it would not rust on the back side as well. Now we're going to get to the wiring harness. This is the harness that comes with the kit. It's really well made. Uh, you've got your main connector for your control module. That's going to get mounted under the hood. You've got another one for the control module. You've got your wires, the two um, purple ones, they go inside of the cab that will connect to this one that plugs into your OBD2 port. You've got ground, you've got a power wire that you connect to it, and then you've got your two motor wires and four LED light wires there. They also come with a couple of these butt connectors with heat shrink on them. Make sure you use the heat shrink. Let's get this thing wired in. All right, we're almost there guys, I promise. So we ran our wires inside the vehicle right through this E-brake cable opening. We went in through there. Now we can come on over inside the vehicle and see we pulled our two purple wires through and then our OBD2 connector. The two wires are colored differently, so make sure you get the purple with a black tracer to that considered one and the purple to the purple wire. And then all you have to do is take that, plug it into our OBD2 port right here, and then tie up our wires so we're not getting in the way of our pedals. Shut up and sit down. Here we are guys, we've got the finished product on our 2018 Ram 2500 Cummins. Got the Croker off-road suspension lift kit, all leveled out in the front. Looks real good with those Fox 2.0 shocks, and boy those fuel wheels. Those are sexy. Power boards all tucked up in, makes it look really clean. gorgeous truck. Now that was one hell of a fun project. I enjoy doing a couple of things like that here and there. Not too often do I get to put a nice new set of rims, tires, boards, everything all in the same day. It's really fun and I enjoy doing it. I hope you guys do too. If you guys like this video today, I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to keep on making awesome videos for you guys. You guys stay classy. Thanks for coming in.